in C-Sex like buying a car though. Um, you know, they ask questions like, can I see myself with this long term? Is it safe? Is it reliable? Can it kill me? Guys look at sex more like parking a car. So it's like, ah, oh, there's a spot. There's another spot. There's another spot. <laughs> Do I have to pay? <laughs> no, nah, never mind. Handicapped. Let's just hope no one sees. <laughs> <laughs> beer bottle sitting there and it's going you know what if you break me you get one year bad luck <clears throat> and a mirror sitting there going you're kidding me you break me you get seven years bad luck the condom sitting there going <laughs> <laughs> i've said do these jeans make me look fat i said do you promise not to get mad at me no matter what i say she said yes i promise i went i fucked your sister <laughs> <laughs> Man walks into a library and asks the librarian if uh, they have the book for men with small penises. The librarian looks on a computer and says, I don't know if it's in yet. And he said, yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Sex in the workplace is never a good idea. It gets really awkward. You have to see each other every day. You know, people find out. You can't teach anymore. <laughs> my wife says I need to get more in touch with my feminine side. So uh, I spent my afternoon crashing the car, burning the dinner, and ignoring her all night for no fucking reason. <laughs> and back in my day, I, I could go to the store with a dollar and, and come back with a bag of chips and two fucking chocolate bars, but nowadays they have cameras. <laughs> True. Fuck off. Hello? I'm watching you. Excuse me? That's exactly what The Undertaker told John Cena! <laughs> champion in WWE history at this weekend's WWE Super Saiyan! Stop calling my house John before Cena. I get your number, I will track you down and absolutely tear you Ladder. to pieces. Do you understand me? I know you are John Cena crazy motherfucker. calling my house now. No wrestling, no super motherfucking slam is happening in this house. Hey. Hey, what's up? Um, I just wanted to call you and tell you, um, there's a, a race of alien women that are abducting people with big dicks, okay? Now, you're not, uh, you're not in any danger, okay? But I just wanted to call you and tell you, I just wanted to call you and tell you this spaceship is fucking awesome. <laughs> Sizes, A. Almost boobs. B, barely boobs. C, can't complain. D, dang. Double D, double dang. E, enormous. F, fake. G, get a reduction. H, help me, I've fallen over. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not allowed to hold my sister's baby anymore because the one time I held it, I dropped it. It wasn't even, okay, it wasn't even like a big deal. It was an accident, right? But then she starts screaming at me. She calls the cops. She says I did it on purpose, blah, blah, blah. All the while, of course, I'm denying it and stuff like that. But the real question is, who brings a baby to the Grand Canyon? <laughs> I'm kidding. My sister doesn't have any kids. Not anymore. Fake friend test. If you send your friend this video and they don't send you a video back of them going into a bank and screaming, Everybody get the fuck down! Nobody fucking move! This is a fucking robbery! They're not really your fucking friend. Yeah, like, you two my mate. As a mate, I'd come on you both. It's all weird, man. What, so you're saying you won't let me come on you then? Exactly what I'm saying, yeah. You're supposed to be my friend. I don't want any <laughs> fucking love juice on me. I'll take one for the team. Thanks, Miles. You, you're a really good mate. Like, you'd allow me to do that for you. Why would you want his fucking love juice on it? Good for your skin. It's bonding as well. My ex working at Subway earlier today, so I stopped in and had that bitch make me a sandwich for old time's sake. <laughs> <laughs> for me, honey, I'm just finishing my makeup. You don't need makeup, Jane. Oh, Richard, really? That's so sweet of you. You need fucking plastic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping with a man is just like a soap opera. Just when it's getting interesting, they're finished till next time. <laughs> Asking mom if hey, daddy mom. beat the kitty. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Why did I hear daddy tell you last night that, that he was going to beat up the kitty cat? What are you talking about? We don't even have a kitty cat. We have dogs. Joey, stop listening to everything he says.
Okay, get in your room now. That's it. Done. Sorry, I just didn't want the kitty cat to get Shall in. Shall we go? Hey, babe. Hey. Hey, some girl came up to my window, and she said if I made out with her, she'd give me a $100 gift card to Olive Garden. What the fuck? Isn't that weird? Why would she ask you that? I don't know. Look, do you see her? The, the girl in the pink dress Which right one? over there. What the right fuck? Right there. Yeah. What is this? That's the Olive Garden gift card. Why would you do that? What do you mean? We're fucking engaged. Why would you do that? I love Olive Garden. You know the guy's name that you yell out every single time you shoot paper into a trash? Yeah, John Wilkes Booth. Well, he died. Wait, what? Francis, why would you yell his name? He's the guy that shot Abe Lincoln. I know, terrible guy, but he never missed a shot. Game recognizes game. I went to the doctor and I said, Doctor, my bottom hurts. He said, can you tell me exactly where it hurts? And I said, right around the entrance. It's really sore. And he said, my advice is that for as long as you call that the entrance, it'll hurt. <laughs> <laughs> do if you had like one day left on earth after 24 hours you're guaranteed to die so anything you do you won't die from so you can be immortal for a day and then you die after that day what do you want to do yeah like you're gonna try to fuck a shark or something <laughs> why was that the first thing <laughs> the very first thing hello i'm inside your house okay yellow yeah, why did you hang up why did you hang up on me? If you're inside my house, just come talk to me. I'm in the closet. <laughs> oh, you're gay? That's cool. No, I'm not gay. I. No, 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 it's, it's all right. My cousin's gay. No, I'm not gay. I'm literally in your closet. Wait, really? <laughs> Who is this? Come find out. Where are you? Forgiving you who you are.